Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another haul edition here at A Week in Geekdom. So let's start in three, two... Welcome back guys to another haul. If you're new to the channel, basically just, uh, you've seen hauls before, you know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna show you everything I got in the month of July. Not a whole lot, but still some pretty cool items that I was missing for uh, the uh, uh, We Can Geek Them library, I, I guess. I, although not everything is book related, but still, you catch my drift. If you want me to review anything of, uh, of anything that I show in this haul, please let me know down below in the comment section. I would very much appreciate it. And thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you for the likes, for the comments, for all the wonderful feedback that you guys always provide. Thank you so much. I love every single one of you guys. All right, let's 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 start. Um, let's start with manga. I got a copy of My Hero Academia Vigilantes, volume five, looking pretty cool. The series is pretty interesting, providing a, another look inside the My Hero uh, universe. It's not as great as the um, it's not as great as the title, the main title, but still, there's much to be loved, and the protagonist is pretty wholesome and fun too. And uh, it's it's just a treat, man. There you go. Next up, trade paperback wise, I got volume five of uh, Scooby Apocalypse. I love this series. It's pretty fun. A fun uh, take on the gang. And I uh, can't show you that. That's a little bit spoilery if you haven't read it. But uh, yeah, uh, I've done a video on this title in in uh, on this channel, I should say talking about this book and I do believe we are one trade away from finishing the whole thing right we're just one book away so it's gonna be a little bit I'm gonna be a little bit bummed out when it's it's all over next up I got hexed omnibus from um, uh, Michael Allen Nelson Emma Rios and Dan Mora and I have to be completely honest with you guys I was sold on the cover alone. I knew the book was pretty good. I had some friends recommend the title uh, before, uh, but man, um, yeah, the cover sold me on it. I'm a huge Mora fan and I uh, said, you know what? It's all collected on one big uh, chunky little trade. I might as well dip in and get this. And it does not disappoint because I've uh, read a little bit of it and it's pretty awesome. I love this. Hex to Omnibus. That'd be fabulous. Emma Rios, I love her art. It's pretty awesome. Look at that. Hex Omnibus right there from Boom Studios. Moving on to hardcovers, ladies and gentlemen. And I have to admit, the other day I was watching uh, some of my older content. I, I do that from time to time just to pick up on things I might have said in the past, uh, ways to improve, and then, you know, uh, my own kind of feedback and all that stuff. And I was going through my graphic novel collection for the year 2016. I haven't done one in a while. I did one for the Omnibus Collectors Network, but I haven't done one in a while on this channel. I will do so uh, soon. I put up a poll on my uh, community tab and all of you guys said that you want to see. Because um, I posted that I wanted to do an anime collection update tour or a uh, comic book thingamajig and all of you guys uh voted in favor of seeing the graphic novel tour first so i'm gonna do that sometime in august it'll be there but still uh in that video in the 2016 video i said that uh, when i was going over the image uh hardcovers that oh this book i have to get volume two soon because volume one's amazing it took me almost uh, almost three years to the date, but I finally got, I finally picked up Fatal from Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, uh, Volume 2 Deluxe Edition, and, and, uh, yeah, I, I was super late on that one. Volume 1 was amazing, 
and I just totally forgot. You know, life just gets in the way. It, it happens, and I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to get it back then, and I didn't. But here it is. Here's the uh, Fatal Deluxe Edition Volume Two. I cannot show you that there is some nice, not safe for work content here. But Volume One is awesome. Uh, my fellow Omni Bros have done countless videos on uh, Brubaker books, so you might want to check that out for some opinions. I, I don't have a solid one yet because I haven't finished the story. So eventually, yeah, I will want to. I will want to cover the whole thing. If you love noir, um, love crafty and horror stories, then Fatal is the book for you. Just don't be like me and take three years to complete it. Next up, Batman um, Deluxe Edition Rebirth Volume uh, 4 or whatever. This is a much lighter book. There's one glaring difference. And there it is. <laughs> a white spine. And now it's black. I'm not too sure if you guys are uh, upset about that. It definitely bummed me out. <laughs> Look at that, it looks weird. Even the uh, top portion is different. I, I don't... DC needs to work on their um, consistency with the cover designs, logos, and all that stuff. But uh, regardless, the book is here. It's sort of that uh, stocky newspaper type uh, paper. But still, it's uh, another uh, Batman book for the collection. And this um, continues the Tom King run with that famous wedding that everybody was throwing a tantrum over. So yeah, I'm looking forward to checking all of this material out. Finally, my one Omnibus purchase for the month of July. This is Batman by Grant Morrison, uh, Omnibus Volume 2. I have Volume 1 right there. This is my favorite Batman run. I had so much fun reading this when it came out. I love this so much. And uh, this, this is great. This collects the end of... Um, uh, that whole Final Crisis era of Batman, and then it goes on to uh, Dick Grayson Batman uh, when they did the Batman and Robin solo title. That lasted for like 16 issues, if I remember correctly. So, Volume 3 should collect the two Batman Inc. series, and we would be done with the Morrison era of Batman. But still, this is uh, pretty awesome to have. I love this. Just overall, splendid material from one of comics, uh, one of comics' greatest writers, Grant Morrison. What more can I say? I mean, plus all the talented people that worked on this title drawing uh, the comic. It's just astounding. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but look at the spine on this Batman Deluxe. And look at the spine on this Batman Morrison Omnibus. Coincidence? Huh. This is my sole anime purchase for the month of July. This is Overlord uh, Season 3, Blu-ray set. And I want to do something really special for you guys because I, I, I love every single one of you. I'm going to open this up. And I have here the digital code. There is the code right there for Overlord Season 3. If you would be so kind, let everybody know if you got it. And write down below. Hey, I got it. So that's about it, guys. That's the haul. It's a pretty short haul. Not a lot of books, but in August, I should be getting, uh, by the end of August, I should be getting some pretty cool items that hopefully uh, you will all dig. Again, if you want me to review any of the books that I mentioned, let me know in the comments section down below. I will be doing the collection tour at some point in August that will be posted. And, uh, and in September, I will be doing the anime one, just in case anybody was wondering. So you have that to look forward to. Guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to Awaken Geek Them. You are the absolute best. I love every single one of you. I wish you nothing but the very best. Have a great day, night, week, month, year, whatever you want. Just be good out there. All right. Thank you so much for subscribing. Follow me on social media if you can. I will see all of you on our next episode.